Hi everyone. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can respond to activities that the teacher has set. And the reason we're showing you this is because quite often when teachers set up an activity in Seesaw, they assign it to a specific folder and it makes things better organized and it's easier for the teachers to be able to go in and find what they're looking for and provide feedback um, as needed. So you'll see here, I've just got a test student that I've set up here just for the purpose of this example. And we can see their name up there. And this is probably the screen you'll go to first um, with their journal highlighted here. Um, any activity that the teacher wants the student to do will show up here in activities. And you can see that there's a red one, which shows um, that there's one activity waiting there to be done. So I can go in there and I can see that there is a, an activity called book review. Uh, ignore my uh, jumbled up text there for the purpose of this. It didn't matter what I put in there. Uh, but for your students, uh, they just want to hit this green add response button. And from here, they can uh, respond in whatever way the teacher has asked them to respond. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'll just do a bit of a colorful squiggle um, and I will save that here using the tick button. So once that's been submitted, you can see here that it's waiting for the teacher to approve it. Um, and from the teacher's side of things, when they go into their activity, um, what they will see here is that out of all the students that they've got set up, there's one that has actually posted a response. So as the teacher, we can quickly go in there, check out what we need to, we can approve that, uh, we can send it back for the students with some feedback, we can add our comments, all of those sorts of things. So when we're working from home and we need to respond to these activities, it's really important that we train our students to go to the activity and respond through it. Uh, we don't want them using this unless they've been specifically asked to. All right, so if you've got any questions about this, please uh, ask your classroom teachers. Um, yeah, and happy seesawing.